still get quite different viewpoints from there. I mean, I went up to Berlin as well, actually, and did some interviews there, although they were mostly with uh, English and American people. Um, and yeah, 2009, I got sat down and actually wrote the book. So here we are in uh, 2010, and it's all, all very exciting. And uh, this is uh, apparently going to be a year of great change. Uh, so will the astrologers pick up. Um, but they say that every year, I'm sure. Uh, hopefully, not as much change as last year. But I think a lot of things fell apart in the last two years, and, and a lot of people are looking forward to things kind of maybe coming together in different forms in 2010. Um, I mean, what's really interesting is, is the real explosion in social tools, um, and we're really seeing social tools becoming the norm. I mean, Facebook has hit sort of 3 million plus, 300 million plus users, and everyone's been talking about Twitter, and, and these really are sort of becoming everyday tools. And we're also beginning to see this kind of 2.0 thinking everywhere. So we've got, um, I'm not really sure if I want Tories to get in at the next election, but of course it looks like it might happen, but, but a lot of their talk about uh, the post bureaucratic age is, is quite interesting and, and I know sort of David Cameron got laughed and laughed at when he talked about um, storing data on Google and, and that sort of thing uh, last year. But I think some of their ideas, looking at the way we can use Web2 in, in um, the public sector, are actually really interesting. Um, and of course, there of course have been loads of conversations online, on, on blogs, about organisation light and organisation 2.0 and leadership 2.0 and the whole idea of, of getting rid of structure, getting rid of hierarchies mm -hmm. and actually enabling the grassroots voices to be heard. So I think it is a very, very interesting time. And uh, in London especially, sort of events like Together OA and Amplified and also the Tuffle Club, I don't know if you've, maybe if you've been along or heard of the Tuffle Club. Just show of hands actually, who's, who's been to Tuffle? I know David Tuffle Club. Who's heard of it? Okay, yeah, a few more, that's good. You must go, you must go. Before it becomes some terrible corporate machine. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. <coughs> um, Tell us what it is then. Sorry? Tell us what it is. I'll talk about it actually, a bit later on. Uh, and, and, uh, and also co-working spaces like the Hub. I don't know if you've heard of the Hub in Islington. Um, it's just the idea that, that and in fact, one of our place actually is an example of that, where people come together and, and share ideas and work independently, but, but in a collaborative way. Okay, so that's the exciting stuff about 2010. Now, this is, this is the sort of 